video today uh, regarding a BGS Beckett Grading Services return. I sent in some Yu-Gi-Oh cards last September and it started off as a three month wait and it bumped up to four, then five. And at that point, I just stopped trying to guess when I was gonna get it. And lo and behold, I got an email out of nowhere, seemingly, that it went from, we've received your item, which took 13 and a half weeks to get notification that they received my cards. 13 and a half weeks, I called them multiple times Customer service is horrible, to say the least. And I know that I'm not the only one who's thought about that recently. I've seen multiple people complain about that. Uh, and so I just conceded and just waited. And it took 13 and a half weeks to get that notification. And then from there, which was back in December, and then uh, from there, another nearly six months to get my cards, you know. So here we are, and something else I wanna complain about, I don't know how others haven't complained about this and why they do it, but I get the email that my order has shipped. There's no, there's no in between, there was no, and you know, I looked a few weeks ago at my order and it didn't say anything about grading. There was no, hey, your submission's being graded, nothing, it just shipped. I click on the email and it shows me the names of the cards in my order and the final grade. I literally can't believe this. I did not want to learn the final grade in that way for these cards. Now, the only thing that's gonna be a surprise today is the subgrades, thankfully. But that really pissed me off. I really, I should have had to go log into my order and then from there, click on the order and then see it. Like, for God's sakes. You know, I've been submitting through CGC with my Pokemon cards lately, and that's how they do it, and I like it significantly more. Oh my gosh. I seriously, seriously doubt I'm gonna be using Beckett ever again, but here we go. Let's just get to it. Let's see the subgrades. Um, okay, uh, the cards look like the grades are in this direction. So, oh goodness, are there? Or not, I guess, I don't know, but that's interesting. What is all this wrapped up here? Let's see what the card is. This is my BLS Collector's Rare. And oh my goodness, look at this. It got a 10 in two categories, a 9.5 on centering, and an 8.5 on surface. Are you kidding me? An 8.5, and they gave it a 9? Okay. Before I react to that, the cases are considerably thicker than PSA or CJC. That's for sure. Uh, why did this not get a 9.5? Why? If Is it because they don't want to give more than half a grade than the lowest? Are you kidding me? An 8.5 on surface? I don't remember seeing anything, any noticeable blemishes. Oh. Okay, so if we mark this down to a nine and then that down up to a nine, that's a two nines and two tens. How is that not a 9.5? Are you serious? I got gypped. No. Oh. Either way, it's a beautiful card and I'm happy about that. What's in here exactly? Uh, letter of credit, return to customer. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Okay, so this is my order. Hold on, I don't want to. Letter of credit. Uh, base price, shipping, payment, okay, letter of credit. What is this? I'm confused. Hold on, sorry, it's just, 
I, I don't even understand what this is supposed to be. This was my original submission form? Or... Anyways, let's see. Letter of credit, return to customer. What is this? Uh, dear customer, we would like to thank you for your recent submission to Becca Grading Services. We hope that you'll please with our product and service. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When processing your order, we found a discrepancy in your payment. According to our calculations, your payment was in excess of the actual amount due. To compensate for this difference, we're extending your credit for the following amount towards any future BGS submission. Uh, what if there isn't going to be a future <laughs> Take advantage of fill out a submission form. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, right. They didn't even tell me about that before. Uh, free vault submissions. No, for PWCC card vault info. Yeah, just kidding me. Right? Okay, let's um, let's see here. What do we got first? We've got our Gear Freed uh, Collector's Rare. These are both all first edition, by the way. 8.5. I was not happy about this one. I was really expecting 9 and above because I inspected the cards. Although, I can see the centering definitely being a bit off. Uh, so that's understandable. But again, the surface getting docked. And... Okay, I think I see a little something right there. <sighs> now, just... I'm going to be keeping these cards, you know. I, I think this is a pretty awesome card, you know. I really was hoping for at least a nine, you know, but... What can I do? And then the last card was the Utopia Astral. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this was... Also, very close to a 9.5. So this is a strong 9. A very strong 9. 9.5, 9.5. If it had gotten one more 9.5 on corners or edges... Gosh, centering is... Yeah, centering looks very good. So it definitely deserves the 9.5. If it had gotten one more, it could have been bumped up to 9.5. That's definitely a bit disappointing. I'm looking here. Uh, I don't see see anything on that corner corner's got a nine there must have been something some blemish somewhere it's kind of hard to see there's a lot of glare in these you know um you know nine i can't complain about nines it's a little little bit of a letdown especially the bls like seriously especially that but you know um the cases are definitely sturdy. I'll, I'll give BGS that compared to the other two. But, you know, at the end of the day, their customer service, you know, is just absolutely horrible. And for, for you know, a very commonly used group in grading, it's, it's, it's not okay. It's really not. The communication is bad. Their system is really bad. You know, at CGC, you can now log in and even if your item isn't checked in your order doesn't show up under my submissions you can put in the tracking number and it'll they will tell you you can indicate whether or not uh the the card is at their facility whatever your submission is and this is something that i feel that all these companies should be doing i don't understand how i have to harass them just to find out and even then i wasn't able to they just kept telling me you gotta wait you gotta wait you gotta wait i waited over three months just to confirm that they received it. it this this was not okay. I, I, I don't I, I don't envision myself submitting to Beckett again. I don't care about that ten dollar credit. That's nothing, you know. Uh, I thought that when I saw a credit stand, I thought, man, they're gonna give me something back because of how freaking long or the, the, something their customer service issue. But nope, it was just that apparently I overpaid, and that's that's my fault, I guess. What can I do? Well, I mean, that's it for that, and. It's unfortunate and whatnot. I was definitely could have gotten 9.5s on this. Uh, it looks like here, the reason why we got the 8.5, even though the lowest grades are 8.5s, it didn't go up, is because when you get two of the same grade, uh, you're not gonna get bumped higher than that. So since I, if, if one of these 
was uh, a nine, then this definitely would have been a nine, you know, uh, because think about it, if I take half away from here, and I so if there was, for example, two nines here, instead of 9.5 and 8.5, it would have been a nine, you know, so that's what's kind of annoying about it, is they don't give higher based on if it's just, if you have two of the same grade, and it's low, even if, if I had two tens and two threes, the grade would would be, well, I can't say for sure it'd be a three, but it would be something like a four. It wouldn't be that much higher. And so when the grades are higher and they're the same, that's all they're gonna give you. And then here, like what a letdown, two tens. And because something with the surface gave it an 8.5, it got a nine. Like <laughs> this definitely deserved a 9.5, but what can I say? All right, well, that's it for today. And uh, you know, Everyone's up to making their own decisions, but I just, I don't envision myself using Beckett again. That just took way too long. The world's most trusted source. I don't know about that. I'm sorry, your customer service is terrible. Needs lots of work. All right, well, I'll see you next time. I have a, a couple of orders over at CGC. Hopefully I get one of them next month at least, maybe both, I'm not sure. The other one might take longer since it's an economy submission. So I don't know, it's been there for a few months already though, so we'll see. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.